Hey everybody, it's Mike here, that card guy coming to you with another mystery bag video. Yep, that's what I do here. We got this baseball one, $6.49 from Goodwill. But not only do I have one, I actually already opened one and I have three more over here to go. So each one of these other bags is going to be its own video. I opened one, realized that there's good enough stuff in here to actually uh, do a video for these. I was just going to open them on my own and uh, have a little fun on the side, but this one was good enough. And uh, yeah, I thought y'all might want to see what kind of stuff you can find in the mystery bag sometimes at Goodwill. $6.49 each. I used a coupon, so I probably got them for about $5 a bag. Fantastic deal. Let me show you the stuff that I found in bag one. And actually, I haven't even looked through these top loaders yet other than that top card. So first off, Michael Jordan card, the one with Harry Carey from uh, Upper Deck, like 1994, I believe. A couple of Deion Sanders cards, a Mattingly, a Derek Jeter. Uh, actually, a really cool minor league card of Dave Valley from 1980. San Jose Missions Jack in the Box card. Uh, Jason Hayward Refractor rookie. We got some just random inserts. Sammy Sosa, Ted Williams, Gwynn. Just some of these other kind of fairly common base inserts in here. Although an electric diamond card of Greg Maddox and Joe Carter. There was a Sammy Sosa rookie card from uh, like the Donruss uh, rookie, not the rookie set, but the opening day set. A few of these uh, Barry Bonds home run history. Ivan Rodriguez rookie. We got a Bumgarner rookie, uh, Vizquel, Martinez early cards, Pedro. I actually thought this set was kind of cool. I'd never seen it before. Holiday in Cal Ripken Jr. set. So there's a bunch of cards from there, as well as some of Justin Morneau, Teixeira, and Joe Maurer. I've never seen these cards are from like 08 Upper Deck, but never seen that version of them. Same as the Holiday Inn, so maybe they did a, a set as well for that. So just that alone was worth well more than the $5 that I paid. Uh, but we also got some top loaders, so let's check out what's in here. Uh, try to get it without the glare here for you. But we got Musim Muhammad Upper Deck graded, and these are actually all serial numbered cards. At least that one was. Uh, they put a number two on the back. Uh, Travis Henry, Buffalo Bill, 2001 Rarify. That's the silver version. We got uh, Santana Moss, silver version. Oop, this one must have been worth $250. Maybe he was pricing them at one point. Whoever donated these cards. We got an 01 rookie card, Barry Zito, I guess, and Seb Sabathia would be your best ones on there. Uh, cool Satchel Page. Satchel Page, I thought it was cool, Papa Bell, maybe. Uh, a Roger Maris card. Oh, I actually really like these cards. 1986 Sports Design Products. This is actually a really nice set if you like vintage cards. Kind of redone with some new photography. That's a great set. Eric Burns gold medallion worth, I guess it was worth $4 at one point. We've got Steve McNair, same numbered card. Uh, who's that? Deshaun Jackson or somebody like that? No, Charles Johnson, uh, some, some, some eagle horrible receiver. We've got uh, Elvis Gerbach, Gus Farrat. No, that's Jeff George. Oh, Jeff George, I forgot he was with the Redskins. Another one of those, Charles Johnson, Quadri Ismail. Another Elvis Gerbach. Uh, Kevin Dyson, am I right on that one? Ooh, number 34. Uh, James Stewart. James Stewart. Uh, Lamar Smith. Oh, I'm having to do some remembering on these names. Then some uh, heritage. But Fuku Dome, I guess at one point he was worth three bucks, as was Matt Chuzaka. A Matt Holiday insert. And who is that? TCMA. Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford TCMA card. So all, all those cards... Uh, were in the other mystery box, and this was just the highlights of them. I actually, got stacks of cards. That, those were the other cards that were in there. You see some leftovers from my soccer mystery one that I did a few days ago. Those haven't even moved off the desk yet. So, uh, let's get into this next box. I think, or this next bag. I think it's going to be kind of fun to go through here. Now, the store had a bunch of these. I think I left maybe eight or ten behind. I picked out the ones that looked like they were the best. This one actually has a little streak of vintage from the '70s in there. So, hopefully, there's something else besides there. Uh, in this bag we'll go through it like i said there's so much in here that's why i'm doing each one of these bags separately otherwise we'd be here for about a half an hour and uh yeah there is some junk in here i'm not even going to go through all the junk because we've got some 88 donra some score stuff this kind of junk stuff that is this is what you usually find in mystery boxes at these stores Oop, but we got a little section of vintage let's slow down here a second we got a roy smalley 1980 tops dusty baker love dusty baker roy smalley Twins, 1979. And then some more of this junkier stuff, but we got to check it. 86. I mean, technically, that's vintage by now, but, you know, we don't call that vintage. Flip these around, and we got Mike Sosha. We got that. Oh, we got a father-son. I think this is 1976. Uh, Ray Boone and Bob Boone. Father-son. That's kind of a cool card. 
bunch of 01 managers. Yep, those are all manager cards. Oop, but we did have Ozzy Gian in the back. Some Alan Trammell cards. Oh, I always like these cards because this is actually like felt right here. These, this is a nice set. We got Bill Dickey. Uh, it was just New York players uh, and John McGraw. I'll actually set those to the side. They're probably worth about a buck a piece. Another great set called Fleer Greats. That's why. Some good players from there. That was one of my favorite sets. We got American Pie, Tony Perez, and Alan Trammell. Some more of these. Bill Terry, Sparky Anderson, Hank Bauer. Definitely put those in their own pile. Just mixed in with the junk stuff. Earl Weaver. Boshi. Managers. This is the manager pile. All right, we're, get, we're getting into this bag a little more. Now, I'm saving that vintage section for last. Yeah, this was. This was like, looked like where he saved all the manager stuff. Because all these guys were managers at one point. Soisha, Garen, Terry Kennedy. Yeah, whoever this stuff was, this is cards that were all managers later on in their career. That's kind of funny the way he did that. Oh, we got Bud Harrelson, 1974. 1971 tops Doug Raider. Or Radar. I don't know exactly how he pronounced that, but. Got that one there. Oh, what else? Oh, he put Mattingly's in here at least. Was Robbie Wine? Was Robbie Wine a coach or manager? That's kind of random. He must have been because this guy seems to know what he was doing with his manager cards. Oh, we got another, got another Bigley one. Roy Smalley Jr. and his dad, Roy Smalley, 1976 tops. That's kind of cool. And there's his regular 1976 tops. Uh, we got one of these, another Hank Bauer. I think that was one of the ones we had earlier. Bob Guerin, a couple of those Kirk Gibson cards celebrating his home run. All right, what else is in here? More managers are going to be my guess. Yep, Bob Melvin, Oral Hershiser. He, I think he was a coach for a little while. I don't think he ever managed. These are all the top's winner cards. I don't think they're really worth anything. Oh, we got some of these senior league cards. Bruce Boshi, Ron Washington. Uh, more, oh, this guy must have loved it. managers. Oh, but we got some more great set cards. These Fleer greats. We got Lou Whitaker, Kirk Gibson, Gardner, Hal McRae, Shane Deist, Gardner, Davey Johnson, Al Lopez, Trammell. Yeah, that's another great set. So those are going in their own pile. And more junk era manager cards. S strange. I'm, uh, I'll ask you right now, has anybody else ever bought a box of cards and had the managers all separated? I don't think so. All right, we're still going. More Lloyd McClendon's virtual reality version of Alan Trammell. We'll set that on my little, we'll start a little insert pile, I guess. Oh, Tony La Russa. Oh, Mike Sosha sticker from Panini. Tony Pena, Terry Kennedy, Lloyd Mosby. Uh, Oop, Tops Archives cards. I always like these two, these uh, archives. This one's from 01. You see the little gold logo right there. Walter Alston. We got one, two, three of those. And a Harvey Keen. Put them in their the little reprint pile. Bobby Cox card. Oh, if you like managers, contact me. I got a pile of them for you. Oop, we got some up down, upside down cards. A Marty Marion reprints from that top set. And McKeon. McKeon somebody. What was he? Is he like the commissioner or somebody? I think that's what he did. All right. I think there's some more of these reprints. Looks like there might be a pretty good stack. Billy Cox from the Brooklyn Dodgers. More Mike Sosha's and Rex Hudler's. All right. It looks like there's a bunch of these reprints. Billy Herman. Don Zimmer. That's kind of cool. I always like these re reprints. Let's see if there's any big names in here. These are all guys that later became managers later on. Don Zimmer, we know he was a coach. Coach for a long time. Chuck Dreesen. Billy Herman, a bunch of those. More Chuck Dreesen. Cookie Guy. Johnny Sane. Oop, that's a gold version, just so you see. If you didn't know they did. Whoa! Oh, I'm knocking over my phone stand. Uh, they did a gold version of these cards. They got the base card and the gold version. They're not really worth a whole lot more. Maybe, maybe 1.5. Oh, Tommy Lasorda. Tommy Lasorda stuff always sells, so that card definitely worth Worth a couple bucks at least. And the rest of those. But that was a big big stack of reprints. I'll definitely take the reprints over the junk era Rex Huddlers and stuff. But ooh, here's the stack here. All right. We're going to put that there. We're going to save that for the end. This video isn't going to be too long, obviously, because we're going pretty quickly. Because there was a lot of junk era stuff in here that we're just flipping through to get it out of the way of the fun stuff. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. We got more Oral Horsheiser. Yeah, again... More of these coaches. Lloyd Mosby? Did he coach? 
I don't remember him coaching anywhere. Joe Girardi, coach for a while. Junk area. Oh, cool. Baseball greats. Again, I just like any of these all-time great sets. I always always enjoy looking through. So we got Bud Harrelson, uh, Bob Skinner, George Bamberger, Ralph Hauk, Reg Shindeast, Harry Walker, and uh, his name's right there. Another Harry Walker. Mattingly Sosha. Yeah, just tons of these type guys. Interesting how I pull them out. Who else we got here? Tim Johnson. Roy Hartsfield for the Blue Jays. I always like these uh, cards from the 1978 set. We got Davey Lopes. He coached for a while. More Lopes. Hal McRae. Felsky. Whitey Herzog. Yeah, there's. this is like a who's who of managers in baseball. Willie Randolph. We got a Mike Hargrove. Another Roy Hartsfeld. A couple Hal McRae's it looked like. One of them pretty off cut. Dusty Baker. Bob Brenly. He was here in Arizona. Billy Verdon for the Astros. I like this one because they put them as a player and as a manager. So I always thought that was cool getting to see their old photos. Roy Smalley. Let's see, do we have more? We have a few more of the junk era in here. Not too many. We're getting to some that vintage stack. Lloyd McClendon, Hal McRae, Lopes. I'm not going to call it 85 vintage, even though technically it is. That was a long time ago. All right, anything else in here? 87, 87. We're getting to 81. 81, I can call vintage. Davey Lopes and Bucky Dent. Cool. I like those both with the all-star logos on there. Looks like there's more 81s. Are these all manager guys, though? Bucky Dent, Ray Knight. Got some 81 Fleer. Joe Torre. Mike Sosha. That's his rookie card. Seriously off-cut. And a Davey Lopes. Bucky Dent. Luis Pujols. I don't know if that's Albert's dad or not, but we can say it was. A couple more of those 81 tops. Del Unzer. Joel Youngblood. And uh, Tony Perez, an 81 Donruss. Johnny Oates, Ray Knight, Dusty Baker, John Wathan, 85 tops, Tony Perez. A few more of these reprints on Zimmer, oop, upside down guys. Sal, Sam Melly and Paul Schreiber. In action, Tony Perez, 82 tops. Davy Lopes, Hal McCray, Dusty Baker. Yeah. This was just a, like a manager section that they must have had in their little donation pile when they took these cards to the Goodwill. Bill Russell, George Bamberger, John Wathan again. Davey Lopes, 1983 Donruss when he played for the A's. Ned Yost, Billy Russell, we got a rookie card. Terry Francona, rookie card. Bob Boone, Don Baylor again. 83 tops, Tim Raines. Did Tim Raines ever coach? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. I'm going to say he did because he's in this, this pile. Grant Jackson, 1980 tops. Maybe there's the Ricky Henderson coach. I wish he did because there'd be one in here. Tim Johnson, Don Baylor, Ken Holtzman, Boshi, Hassey, Johnny Oates, Naharodney, Mike Cubbage, Elliot Maddox, Hal McRae, a bunch of those, and a Bill Russell for the Dodgers. Tony Perez, 83. Another Bob Watson, 80. Bump Wills. And then, like I said, I knew I saw some 77s when I was sort of flipping through the cards. We've got Cecil Cooper, a seriously miscut, not even just offcut, that's miscut. Tom Grieve, Butch Hobson, Brett Boone, Hal McRae, Tim McCarver, Bob Boone. You guys are seeing all the names in here. This, this has been a fun one to go through. I don't think it's like hugely profitable. These are, there's a lot of like quarter and 50 cent, maybe dollar cards in here. Just because everybody knows these names because they later became managers. Oop, junk era. Junk era. Oh no. Is that the end of it? Are we ending on junk? We're ending it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and watch the rest of these videos. This is going to be part one. There's going to be part two, three, and four. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.